have basically come to the conclusion that hoodies deserve to be respected as outfits too. No, like really. So I'm gonna be buying a range of hoodies from Hypebeast $200 hoodies to Target $20 hoodies. And we're just gonna compare all of them and see which one is the best and which one is worth it. Let's get shopping, eh? Okay, first off, we're gonna start with the cheapest one and we'll work our way to the most expensive hoodie. And that cheapest one is Target. Here it is, the woman's hooded sweatshirt by the brand A New Day. A little birdie told me that this was a very, very good hoodie and that they also run extremely small. So I'm gonna get an extra, extra large. I'm gonna get the gray color. This one costs $20, so let's see how it looks on. Good morning. I got the Target hoodie in and I really wanna wear it today, so let's unbox it. This is definitely a darker gray than I thought it would be and this is gonna be interesting because, oh wow, wow. My friend got this hoodie and she told me to get an extra, extra large and look at how small it is. It definitely feels soft and I really like stitching. That's cute, I like the front and I really liked the little rib details. This is the biggest size in one of their size ranges and then they also have a different size range that can go bigger than this. Okay, first impressions is that it's so soft and cozy. It is so soft soft like exceptionally and it's thin which I kind of like and I love this part that's cute but this is an extra extra large and it doesn't even cover my butt in these leggings in the back like this is so small and short like what I really like it though I honestly like love this hoodie the next hoodie is from Abercrombie's men's yes I heard about this by way of TikTok the essential popover hoodie okay they have all these colors I'm actually gonna get this color because it's gonna match Ryan's eyes $59 let's see what we can get for $59 my microphone wasn't plugged in rip, so I'm gonna voice over. So we're trying out the Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie, men's hoodie. This one took 11 days to deliver, so it was the longest one to deliver by far. I got a size medium. And my first impressions were that it was just such a soft hoodie. And then I was saying how it was probably the softest one, if not the Target one. So the tag says oversized, and this is the material on the inside. So let's try it on. Oh my gosh, you guys. We have a competitor in, in the, the race, race right, right now. now. Something I particularly liked about this hoodie is the cut of the hoodie thing right here. Just like the stitching, the thickness of it was just particularly nice in how it laid and how it looked. And the actual hoodie was less big, but it was kind of the perfect size because it didn't go over my forehead too much and I just thought the fit of this one in general was really really nice so this one is a really good contender okay next we have Aritzia if you guys don't know about the Aritzia craze they're matching sets and their basics and their hoodies like the TNA line people go crazy about it so this is the cozy fleece perfect hoodie by TNA I'm gonna get poetic pink and this is $70 so let's see how good it is okay this is the last one where I have to voice over but we have the Aritzia hoodie and very specifically the TNA cozy Midweight perfect classic hoodie size extra large $70 as you can kind of see just from me holding it up I felt as if the extra large ran a bit small I expected it to be much larger than this or at least longer so hopping right in as you can see I, I did treat myself to the matching sweatpants My first thoughts were that this set was just outrageously cozy like pajama type feeling wanted to go to bed They definitely get tons of points on the cozy aspect But I did feel like these just ran really small like it wasn't even really covering my butt in the back and the actual hoodie hole itself felt very small like it was just an awkward size where like my hair couldn't really go inside because it was so small and then it couldn't go on the outside but something I do like about this hoodie is that the logos are very minimal all it says is TNA so if you like any of the colors and you just want like a plain super cozy hoodie this is a very 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 good one also I'm filming a TikTok unboxing these I got these Nike dunks to match how cute is that Next, we're taking quite the leap to Set Active. I'm sure you've seen some influencer girlies wearing some Set Active. They're very cute. But I've never really heard much about like their sweatsuits or hoodies or anything like that. So I saw their color selection and I got a little bit obsessed. So I'm gonna get myself the pink one. At the time that I'm filming this, they actually don't have the pink one in stock anymore. But these are $120. So let's see what we can get for a hoodie for $120. I just woke up from a nap, so I'm looking a little silly right now. I woke up to Set Active being delivered and I'm so excited this color that they created is the prettiest pink color I've ever laid eyes on and I just want to wear pink so bad. Colorful clothing makes me so happy that it is worth every dime to me. So let's open this up. Here's what the packaging looks like. Here's the hoodie and I got a pair of leggings, but that's not part of the video. So I actually got a size small in this because it's the only size that they had, but I'm just so obsessed with this color that I don't even care. I just want, I want it so bad. So. 
let's see how these fit so right off the bat it just feels super thick and like plush like it has a little soft texture to it the hood double lined feels amazing it's got that new trendy seamless right here and it has the set active patch right here which i really love so let me go try this on girly pops this is not a drill obsessed i'm obsessed i could not be more obsessed right now it looks kind of bad with the pink leggings obviously but this is a size small and look at the fit okay are you seeing this this is my dream hoodie i have not had this feeling from putting on a hoodie in a millennia look at the hoodie look at the color look at the fit and look at the inside material are you kidding me that is the inside material they have that same material on the inside of a mad happy crew neck that i have that material whatever that is is flawless okay let's actually try the hoodie and see Oh my gosh, it's literally perfect. My ones from Aritzia are like too long, which is good if you're gonna like fall asleep on an airplane or something, but this is just perfect. The hoodie like length is perfect because my some of my other ones are too tight. I wanna go buy every color right now. I don't know how the other ones are going to compare, but we have just set the bar extremely high with set active. Next price point that we have is a website called Pangea? I don't know how to say it. Apparently a lot of celebrities wear this, like Justin Bieber, people like that. They seem really cool, and I would really like to try out a hoodie from them. I'm going to get, which one should I get? I wanna get this beach blue 365 hoodie for the summertime. Oh, these are actually $150, but I got it with a coupon, so I actually paid $136. These are $150. I thought they were cheaper than that. So this is actually one of our top contenders. Oops. Okay, it's a few days later, and I have the next hoodie. Pangea. I don't really know how to say it. Pan Pangea, Pangea. This is the packaging. It says compost me and it has this huge sticker made out of cardboard. This is so cool. Ooh, okay, it feels really soft so far. I bought this five days ago and it already came in, so that's pretty fast shipping. And it cost $136, which is obviously really expensive for a hoodie, but this is a sustainable brand, so that's really awesome. Okay, so first impressions, it is way thinner than I thought, which is great because this color I would want to wear in the summer more, so it's definitely thin. I got a size large. It says, this hoodie is treated with natural peppermint oil to keep it fresh saving water energy and time well cool. oh it has pockets it has like the hidden pockets and then on the back it says Pangea so let me just go try it on shall we this is what the inside looks like it's that thin material you know I am speechless right now. I did buy the matching shorts because this color this color I oh my gosh I'm freaking out like a little kid this is so good literally perfect for summer because this hoodie is so thin oh my god what i really care about with hoodies is just how it lays on your body and this just lays so nice and are you ready for the shoes okay i might have bought this color because of these sneakers that i have um yeah yeah i'm so happy color makes me so happy this is so this is my dream come true okay next up we have mad happy because i know a lot of people are aware of this brand and they just came out with some new hoodies i actually got sent some which is crazy i never thought that would happen in a million years and i don't think that they have the one that i have on here anymore but they have different colors and it's about 145 dollars so it's really expensive. Here's the Mad Happy hoodie that they sent me. It looks like a size small if I had to guess, but I don't know because it doesn't say. It just says Mad Happy right there, and then it has this thing on the hoodie. Here's what that looks like after a few washes. But yeah, I'll try it on for you guys. The hole for your head is really little. Oh my gosh. It's getting smaller by this day. This is definitely like a medium to heavyweight. It really is cute I would just say the only thing is the, the hole for your head to get through is so small that it makes me like dread putting it on Because I don't want to like, get all my bronzer on it, but it's cute. I definitely like the hoodie detail. Is it over here? No But I don't know if they're my favorite. Now we're getting into our hype beast hoodies. So if you have ever seen Essentials, Fear of God, those bad boys are definitely hype beasts because you can only get them resale because they sell out so fast. So I'm gonna try to find a hoodie from one of these resale sites that I could buy. I really just want like a plain black hoodie from this brand because if it's good, then, then I have a great basic. Okay, I really like this one. It's plain on the front and then it says Essentials in a really low key color on the back. So I'm gonna get a size medium on this one. Why is it 117? At the time that I bought it, it was a little bit more than that. The price on these are just gonna vary based off which website you get them off and of. how close to a drop that they were because if they just dropped on like PacSun or something, then they're gonna be cheaper. But if it's been a really long time since a restock, then they're gonna sell for more. So when I bought it, it was like $145. But right now it says $117. So that's, that's good. Look what I got in the mail. 
we have the Fear of God Essentials hoodie. I'm so excited about this. This is one of the most hyped up hoodies, I feel like. And it took nine days to get here. So pretty fast. Came in this bag. Let's open it up. First impressions, feels like a normal hoodie so far. Nothing is standing out to me. Okay, here's the first unique thing. On the hoodie, we have this polymer, plastically little thing that says essentials. Completely plain on the front and then on the back, it says essentials. Oh wow, I've never felt this sort of texture for text on a hoodie. What is this? It's like a plasticky polymer feeling. Definitely feels high quality and like something I've never felt on a hoodie before. Whoa, that's actually really cool. And this is a size medium. Let's try her on. OMG. The second I put it on, I was like, oh boy, here we go. It's just baggy in all the right places. It's like the initial thing. I'm feeling and I love the stitching placement. It's very interesting. It's like just one line here Hmm. This is one of the most subtle ones I feel like because I just wanted a really good quality black hoodie just a staple I love how this sits so for a medium. It's pretty big I feel like the neck hole is perfect and like the hoodie size very large hoodie size you could definitely Sleep on a plane like this. I'm gonna have to wear it for the day to give you my thoughts Okay, and now for our final boss I am going to get a Drew house hoodie if you don't know this is Justin Bieber's brand probably seen one of these hoodies with the smiley faces on them And I've always wanted to have one because they look really cool, but they're really expensive They're $155 on the website, which I'm lucky that they had like just dropped these I'm pretty sure because usually you have to get them resale I'm gonna get this lime color in the size large and that is $155 So let's see if this Justin Bieber hoodie is worth it look what just came in the mail. My Drew hoodie. I'm so excited for this. First impressions, here we go. That is really lime. That's definitely true, lime green. So I've heard people say that these hoodies are super thick, almost too thick for people's liking. It's really heavy, that's for sure. This is humongous. We have the Drew hoodie here. It doesn't feel soft. Ooh, the inside looks nice though. I feel like if the inside has been looking like this lately, it's been very nice. Hi Spock. Drew House comes with a full on rubber keychain. Cool, and it comes with a sticker. Let's go try her on and see if she's super heavy and thick. Here she is in all her glory. I love the color. Definitely, I would say it's on the smaller end for the neck hole, but nothing crazy. I like the hood. It's not super cozy. Honestly, it is my least favorite material out of all the hoodies. The set active one is thicker in the way that it feels plush, and then the Pangea one is thinner, but it's still soft. And this one is kind of an in-between, almost like, mm, I don't know. It's like a little heavier, but it's not soft. This is the size large. Yeah, love. I'm gonna have to weigh my opinions on this. For the final showdown, I will be ranking all of the hoodies from best to worst in terms of what I think is the most worth it and which ones I will be most likely purchasing again or recommending to a friend. Yeah, that kind of rhymes. Okay, the first place spot goes to... Target. I'm actually wearing it. Other than the little sizing thing, they do have two size ranges to go up in size past extra extra large. And so for that reason, the fit, the softness, and the price point of this one just makes it my absolute favorite. Props to Target for being the cheapest one in this video and also my favorite. The number two spot goes to Essentials Fear of God. I just found myself throughout the week grabbing for this one the most, the softness, the way that it fit, and the hoodie was just my absolute favorite. Even though the price point sucks and you have to buy it resale, this is the one that I want to buy another one of the most. So I have to just be honest and that's the number two spot. Look how pretty. Spot number three, Aritzia. Good old classic Aritzia. I think it's a great price point, $70 for a really high quality and soft hoodie and great color option. Number four, oh, it's getting tough here. I'm gonna go set active. I'm gonna go with my gut. I love their color options and I love how cozy these are. The only thing is we're about to go into summer and these are super thick, but if season didn't exist, these would definitely be super high up there for me. Number five, Pangea. Pangea. Jaya, whatever. I almost put this at number four because it's so thin and I'm gonna be wanting more of these for summer. I love their colors and I love how thin this hoodie is and how it fits. I just don't really love this text right here. I kind of wish they just made them plain. So for that reason, Pangea is number five. Number six, Mad Happy. They're just such a cool brand. I love the way that they fit, but they're not soft and it really just makes me not want to put it on because of how tight the neck hole is, but I still love these so dearly. And lastly is the Drew hoodie. I know this is so shocking, but this is by far the most 
most expensive hoodie and in my opinion the least good quality and I feel like because of the Justin Bieber height and the cool design people buy it at such high price points and honestly I do feel really cool wearing it I love the design and I love the colors but for the price it's just not a hoodie that I put on and feel the most cozy in so this one is last place so there you have it here are a bunch of brands of hoodies and what I think about them the number one hoodie in my heart is the girly pop hoodie go get yourself one while they're still on sale but until next time I love you guys bye